Hi, I'm back. So one of the uh, big concerns in taking nail photos is color accuracy. So I'm going to really quickly show you how to adjust the color of a nail polish or to adjust the color of uh, your skin tone. So I've got my image here. Um, I'm going to open up the uh, adjust color menu. So I just go up to enhance and adjust color and I'm going to go to adjust hue saturation. So right now it's set so that it will adjust the color or the saturation of the entire image. I want to set it so that it only changes the color of the nail polish. So what I need to do is I need to change this from master and I need to tell it what color to adjust and obviously um, it's not a lot of selection here, so I just select whatever is closest to the color I want to adjust. So I want to adjust the, um, the nail polish, so I'm going to select magentas. And you can see I have a little eyedropper tool, so my next um, step is to select the color of the nail polish with the eyedropper. So just click my mouse. And basically I've just told uh, Photoshop Elements that I want to adjust the color of this nail polish here. So as you can see here, if I adjust the hue, um, it's only the color of the nail polish that is being adjusted. So um, I'm just going to put it back to zero. So, um, so say I want to change it so that instead of being, right now it's a very warm purple, so I want to adjust it so that it's more of a cooler purple. So that would be hue, and I don't need to make a very dramatic change, but I find even just a few degrees um, in one direction can really make a difference. So I've set it to negative 16, and instead of having a very warm purple, I have more of a cooler purple. So say I want it to be, say it's supposed to be a bit brighter than it is now. So I can also adjust the saturation. Um, and of course, um, you might find that going too far in one direction might uh, make it a little bit garish. So you want to be very careful when you make these adjustments. So I've set it so that's a little bit brighter um, than it is now. So that's how you adjust the color um, of a nail polish. So what happens if you need to adjust the color of your skin tone? Um, say for example it looks a little bit too red. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just accept those changes and again I'm going to go back to the um, the adjust hue saturation uh, menu. So I want to adjust the color of the skin tone. It's the exact same thing as if I was adjusting the color of a nail polish. So again um, I'm going to select roughly what color I want to adjust. Um, I usually select reds for skin tones and I just click, I just click on, uh, on the skin area. So with this I can just adjust the hue so that um, I can either make it more red, less red. Um, with skin tone you have to be careful. You can't adjust it too much in one way. However, if I move it a few degrees to the right, you can see I have, ah, it's green. Okay, I don't want it that much, but uh, a few degrees to the right will make it look a little bit less red. Um, so it will sort of neutralize. Um, a little bit to the left will make it look, ah, lobster hands, um, will make it look a little bit red if for example your skin tone is looking a little bit too green to begin with you'll then want to move it to the um, to the left to add a little bit more red to it. Um, 
You might also want to adjust the saturation just if uh, for some reason your camera really uh, distorts your skin tone. It might actually be good to just uh, knock that saturation down. Um, even just, you know, I've only gone to negative six and you can't really see too much of a difference. So obviously you don't want to make any dramatic adjustments, but just minor adjustments can really, um, really improve the quality of your skin tone. If there's, for whatever reasons, your camera is having a problem registering skin tone. Okay, so so I've adjusted the color of a nail polish and I've adjusted the skin tone. And I'm going to show you another method to adjust um, the color of a nail polish. The reason is, is because the first method that I showed you um, works really well for colors like green, blue, purple. However, it doesn't work very well for reds and pinks. And the reason is, is because if you select a polish and it's a red or a pink color, um, it will also detect your skin tone as well. So you'll end up changing your skin tone along with the polish and you don't want that. So this second method is really good for polishes in the red, pink, nude category where you wanna make sure that you're just selecting the nail polish but you're not going to be adjusting the skin tone. Okay, got that? Great. So for this, I'm going to use uh, what's called the magic wand tool. And wait. Okay, I have to close this first and then use the magic wand tool. Yes, that's it. Okay, so the magic wand tool will, um, it will pick up stuff that looks very similar. So as you can see I just clicked once and it picked up almost all of this nail. Okay so that's not very useful because I wanted to pick up all of the polish but not the skin tone. So what I do to add to this selection is I go up here and I click on this add to selection. So I start adding to this selection. I just keep clicking until I have most of the nail polish. So this isn't 100% precise, but it is probably uh, the easiest way that I've found to do this. Okay, so I have most of the polish selected, so I'm going to go up to uh, the Adjust Hue Saturation uh, thingamabobber, and I want to actually turn this back to the original color. So I can just adjust the hue like that. Um, you can see that Again, it's just the nail polish that is uh, being adjusted, but um, not my skin tone. So this is actually a really useful way to make sure that you are only adjusting the nail polish and none of the surrounding color. So I'm just going to um, try to get something close to the original, tone down the saturation a bit. Um, and just click OK to accept the changes. And if I want to get rid of all these uh, little wavy lines and stuff, just go to the Select menu, deselect, and there, I've adjusted the color. So I hope you found this useful, and uh, thank you very much for watching.